Thank you for coming. And we would like to give the words to Jonas Mekas, who is here. Because it is like a big, it's more than a family, it's international. It's, there was Hollywood, Chinechita, most film, like royalty of some kind. But then came the independent nation of the independent film. But now we also are entering, I think uh, it's coming into existence, what is coming is, uh, we can talk about the birth of the internet nation. We are at the beginning of another nation where Anybody can make movies, any of us has, and we have one, two cameras in our pockets. That's where we are today. So what you see in this film, it's uh, uh, about 160 of those who began in the, it, it covers about 50 years, beginning like 1950 to, to about uh, the year 2000 little mini portraits of the people from all, uh, Peter Kubelka, that's Austria, that's Carl Hirsch, that's New York, Andrew Norton, that's New Jersey, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's very, uh, that's in London somewhere in 1972. Harry Smith. These are all people that have contributed something to the birth of the independent nation, of the nation of the independent filmmakers. So that's all about that I wanted to say, so that you know what you are seeing. The soundtrack is Herman Nietzsche improvising on or Uh, sometimes it's interesting when somebody has a question and that sends me into something else. Do you have some questions, some statements? Any of you? Who is the most important? Oh. Who is the most important? They are all important in a way or no, none. I mean it's, it's a family then it's not not good to talk about who is to reduce something to one. This is the most important, this is the most beautiful. No, no, many. Each one did something else that nobody else did. Any one of them is has contributed something special, something different. So they're all important. Some epiphanies? Yes. Is it like a collection of epiphanies? Of little epiphany, moments? Epiphany, epiphany. Of little magic <laughs> moments? Yes, these are uh, little mini, mini, mini glimpses, glimpses, moments, mini portraits, <laughs> epiphanies. <laughs> Some of those moments are the only footage, the only moments that have been recorded of actually many of them. Film make it like to film what's around them, but sometimes they don't film themselves. Not like uh, Boris Lehmann, who is here. <laughs> He's part of the independent, of the nation of the independent film. I'm happy that 
you are here tonight for this dilemma. Everything is sacred. <laughs> if I uh, don't look at and treat everything as sacred, I, 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 that's not my credit if I break that rule. But everything is sacred. And why and when I decide to film, I don't know. And none, none of us. Uh, in Hollywood, they know they are paid. There is a schedule. Uh, independent filmmakers very often do not know why they are filming and when they will be filming. I don't know. But there is always a reason. There is a reason, a very strong reason. And yet you cannot escape it. You have to do it. You have to do it. No choice. I do not think much about anything. I'm, I'm not a thinking person. But there was a period when uh, in cinema there was some uh, filmmakers who used the camera and recorded reality in, in a way, in a style, and interested in a certain aspects which and we describe that area, what they did as neo-realism. That, that's part of cinema, because cinema is a huge tree with many, many different branches. And <laughs> from one extreme to the other, and uh, they're all equally important. No matter, and sometimes the smaller they are, <laughs> the more important they are, that feeds the rest of the tree. Uh, so it's not, uh, so that new uh, neorealism is a very, it's, it's one of the branches of the tree called cinema. And it was important. Was and still is. It's still there. Thank you. What made you choose this the soundtrack? Uh, of Nietzsche for this reason. <coughs> Nietzsche was, uh, uh, and still is, a uh, great part and friend of many of the filmmakers uh, that we see in this film. Uh, and I, I, I like, uh, it was, uh, again, it, it was a chance, uh, uh, no, no big, uh, I did not think really much, uh, uh, just I thought it was, that's what I wanted. And, uh, I took a chance, and there it is. But that's not the only part of the soundtrack. Oh. Uh, uh, well, that's not, I mean, I don't know what you uh, 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 want to say. No, but you My, also have the voice, right? Oh, yeah, you see, there is another, there is also one screen version. One screen version differs, differs that, uh, that there is also one part that has voice, uh, about maybe seven minutes or so, in which uh, uh, I compare, the, the voice tells a story, but secret, secret. The fool, the fool, who also is also <laughs> the strongest, though she is a fool. Uh, uh, and same, <laughs> I consider we, all, we are fools also. Uh, and directly, it's not, nothing uh, direct. So in the one screen version, it's, it's sometimes different. But this version, is one where you edit it, edit it, 
yourself. You know, jump from one image to, an, to another. It's a collage. It's a different version, which is valid in itself. They're both different, and they're both uh, work themselves. All editing is in the camera, but then um, put all those all those split pieces are spliced together. What you see, edited, I mean structured in the camera. Yes. If there is any post editing, it's like when you write something and you misspell maybe the word, so you correct, uh, or you take one comma out, or you put a comma in, that, that's about it. How are you experienced Venice today? <laughs> How I experience what? Venice. Oh, Venice. <laughs> Venice. Uh, uh, interesting to walk through it. <laughs> it's interesting, you know, to, to, to take a boat, but it's also interesting equally to walk through it. You discover uh, a lot if you just walk and walk and walk and sometimes stop and then with no plan. That's what I, we, we did yesterday, today, and it was exciting. Could you what? tell us more about the Internet nation? What do you mean? We are, we are, in the, 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 we are, you are Internet. Uh, generation, uh, it's all, uh, all around it, we are all using it, uh, uh, we are in, 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 in it, uh, I'm, not, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Why have you decided to be part of this uh, internet nation? Uh, I was asked to participate, to be in it, to do something, and I, I thank to Francesco, he invited me, he gave me the occasion, created a situation, and it wouldn't exist without uh, Alexander, Francesco, and the other Francesco. But you started in 2006. Or different so aspects, and what you see at the, at the Burger King, the people's place. <laughs> My cinema is, so I, 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 Film, I tape real life moments, uh, certain moments of real life, nothing very important. It's part of life, my life, my friends. Same with Burger King, that's where people eat, nothing unusual, it's very normal. But there is this space and, and has those beautiful, huge windows. And why not to do something there, where, you know, in a normal place? Uh, that's what I usually do. And so it, when I was asked to do something there, to me it, it was very normal not to do something there. <laughs> and uh, uh, when you see now those windows and, and images there, that changes everything else. It becomes like a celebration of, of, of that simple, you know, place where, you know, people, children, they just eat their <laughs> hamburgers. Uh, and it's, a, it's a also sacred, in a sense, and simple, and down to earth, something that people do every day, certain rituals, and it's just brought into focus that you begin to, like, uh, even the posters on the wall, 
but have a different, slightly meaning. It changes, everything is changed. So that's interesting. Have you intentionally contextualized your works outside the conventional exhibiting space? Can you repeat your uh, Can you repeat your question? Have you intentionally decontextualized your works from the conventional exhibiting space? Have you intentionally decontextualized? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all places uh, are commercial. In, in, I mean, I have a big problem with what we believe it, what is commercial, what's not commercial. Uh, uh, maybe I really don't know. I I I I, I have to think about uh, how to separate commercial and non-commercial no, in a in a capitalist no, no. capitalist society. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm? No, I was asking. But I, will, I I I see that like it's something like Biennale, like pavilions are decided by the governments or ministries of culture, then of course there is a difference when something is decided by an individual person like myself. Uh, so there is some, some difference uh, between personal and uh, official, let's say. Uh, that I see, uh, there is a, uh, what is commercial, not like, uh, uh, oh, I'm using, okay, birth of a nation of independent filmmakers. It, it is like a statement, it's a manifesto, that if you begin to analyze word by word, independent, then you discover that it's nonsense, because Spielberg is more independent than me. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> so, uh, uh, independent, uh, uh, it's said. Uh, uh, but he uh, would have made the movies he made. And movies. commercial, the same with commercial, and especially today in the internet uh, generation, age, where you can put something on the internet and it hits all the uh, YouTubes, everything, and millions and millions of people see. And somebody makes a film with uh, 100 million dollars, and it's a dud. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> so, uh, but is commercial uh, by number of people, or how much money goes into making? And why can we, should we judge the, the end result by how much money it costs? That's nonsense. It makes no sense. You judge by the result. So all those those terms become totally useless uh, today. Commercial, non-commercial, independent. <laughs> uh, so that uh, the histories and writing uh, s uh, about cinema and video and internet, when uh, that uh, 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 is. Still, it's still being clearly discussed in those outdated terms. But I think it's time that we begin to discuss all those works that we see on internet, in movie houses, on our home screens, in the same way as we discuss music, literature, or uh, by different forms. There are different forms and different genres. We don't discuss, we don't uh, write histories of literature. Uh, we don't go by how many people read it or uh, how long it took to, to write it, etc., etc. That's, we are, the literature on cinema, uh, on moving images, is still on, is still very primitive level. Jonas, what will we see during the sleepless night? Uh, 
sleepless nights. I made a little, you know, one of my videos, it's called <laughs> Sleepless Nights. <laughs> yes, Sleepless Nights uh, Stories. Uh, but everybody uh, who sees it and uh, talks about it talks mostly about to sleep or not to sleep, sleepless, sleepless. And, then, and they forget that the title has also the word stories. <laughs> because I made that film, and they said there is not sleep, sleeplessness, but the varieties of stories. There are about 30 different examples what the story is just really it's an essay on nature of what is a story but that nobody has written about it nobody has really i, I thought that's what i was doing but nobody has uh, noticed that. Yeah, yeah that the film that is the way why I made it, one of the reasons was to really to discuss, to con have a conversation on the nature of story. What is a story? I think he was asking what you were It could be a, you know, Tolstoy's war and peace, huge, epic, or it could be just a tiny, just a fragment, moment. Actually, there are some stories even here in some of those little fragments. There is a story. Yes. I think you wanted to know also what you're going to The person who is talking here, really none of this would exist here because she's my right hand in all of these products that you see around. <laughs> I interrupted you. I'm also curious about what you're showing tonight during the sleepless night. I, I do not know. I brought a batch of my videos, so uh, I don't know which one. I, I mean, it, 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 it can go all night long. It, enough, I brought it enough to last till morning. So it, it's all diaristic. It's all my life. It's all not nothing. It's all. Uh, it just goes and goes and goes. Are you showing Sleepless Nights? No. I think Sleepless Nights is one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes. And what's the spiritual component? Hmm? What's the spiritual component of, of your practice? If there is a spiritual component? Uh, you cannot avoid spiritual content because we are body and spirit. Whatever you do, spirit is reflected. You have no choice. Body is reflected. Every atom of your body and all the other dimensions of the maker is reflected in the water that the maker makes. images are visible and what people think spirit spirit is invisible so you don't see the spirit so you say where is the spirit but that's the beauty of it that spirit is invisible <laughs> same as internet works but it's invisible so spirit is a different kind of force Oh, it's like internet. <laughs> no, I don't say it. it's part of it, and we, it's a package, we are a package, and it's, uh, uh, 
difficult to unwrap that package, which is a human being. There's so many components, uh, and we stretch, we rever reverberate back to the uh, <laughs> to the Big Bang, uh, and as we stretch from there and keep moving into the future as a package. Uh, or rather, the tiny, tiny leaves on the tree that is humanity, and the body is there, and uh, unfortunately it's rotting <laughs> much of it. But we are the top green buds, and we embrace, and in us, the, all that humanity was before us is in us. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> that in each of us is all of the past humanity. But also, what a responsibility knowing that next second will be, we will be somewhere else and that this second, what we do, this second determines next second. That means it's up to us where humanity will be two, three seconds, two, three days, two, three weeks, two, three years from now on. What a responsibility. you don't have to think about that would make you crazy. <laughs> that we, we have to be aware of it. Because otherwise, we would, be, we would betray all those who lived before us. We would betray all those poets, philosophers, saints, minnesingers who lived and worked and sang and danced before us and tried to make humanity more beautiful. So, so that's where our responsibility comes. And for the future and past. Not to betray the past, the best of the past. And mm. End of sermon. And that's the beauty of all these people that you see there is. I think they all worked towards uh, those little branches that they would grow better. Yes. Oh, that's, of course, my life as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to compete with dogs. He wants to ask you a question. Do you ever take photos with a cell phone? Uh, Do you ever take shots with a cell phone? Cell phone. Uh, that's uh, that's next because when my this camera that I have, my Sony is about to die. <laughs> uh, they don't make them anymore. So next will be my, I will go to their pocket size. <laughs> yes. That's next step. But soon there will be something else. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and uh, 
thank you very much to Jonas Mekas, who is, uh, with generosity, uh, is initiating the Internet saga. And uh, so this is the beginning of a, a, a grand narrative, a big narration. And so you are part of it, and please uh, be part of it. We would like to thank uh, all the people here, Francesco, yeah, Sebastian, so Sebastian, Linda, Fabrizio, Gloria, Manuela, Alessandro, all the people of Caterina. Caterina, Caterina who is the column of this project. And we, we really want to thank all the people because this is a, 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 a miracle. So we are so happy to, to share with you this, uh, this project. Thank you very much. Uh, for Caterina, uh, it's, it's amazing that they're coming now. Thank you.